Hello everyone, welcome to episode 3 of Make It Yourself. In this video, you're going to learn how to make Play-Doh at home. Let's review our ingredients one more time. We need 2 cups of flour, 1 cup of salt, 4 teaspoons cream of tartar, 2 tablespoons vegetable oil, 2 cups of boiling water, and food coloring. For this recipe, I like to mix my dry ingredients separately in a larger bowl and then add my wet ingredients to that mixture. So let's begin with flour. Now I'm going to add my salt to the mixture and last but not least, my cream of tartar. Now that I have all my dry ingredients in the bowl, I'm going to take a wooden spatula and mix it really, really well. Now parents, for this recipe, you may use half of each ingredient in order to make less Play-Doh. This recipe will make lots and lots of Play-Doh, enough for four to five children to play with. Okay, I'm finished making my dry ingredients. I'm ready to make my wet bowl now. So I'm going to start with two cups of boiling water. Now I'm ready to add my second wet ingredient, which is two tablespoons of vegetable oil. I'm going to add this to my hot water and make sure I get every last drop in there. And my third wet ingredient is my favorite part, which is food coloring, and I chose the color red today. You may choose to add a different color to your Play-Doh. However, this step is optional, and if you don't have any food coloring at home, that's okay too. Now that my two bowls are ready, I'm going to try and add my wet ingredients to my dry bowl. Now children, please make sure to ask an adult to help you with this part. The bowl is really heavy and the water is super duper hot. Wow, we finally have all of our ingredients together in one bowl. We're going to mix them really, really well until we don't see the water anymore and we only see Play-Doh. Okay, we're almost done mixing. Our Play-Doh looks a little bit sticky now, but that's okay. Once I mix it for a few more seconds, it'll be ready to come out of the bowl so I can net it with my hands. So once you notice that your dough is sticking to your spoon and you can lift it up, that means it's ready to leave the bowl. So this is the last step in making our Play-Doh. For this step, I've decided to use gloves because the dough at this stage is still a little bit hot, but this is completely optional too. So as you can see, my Play-Doh is still sticking to the surface, so I'm going to keep netting until I see no more Play-Doh on my surface. Thank you. 
Your Play-Doh is now ready. You can cover it with a plastic wrap or keep it in a Ziploc bag to keep the moisture in.